Well, good Saturday afternoon. It is March the 11th, I believe. And after watching the cats lose last night, I thought this would be a great day to go fishing. Other than the temperature is under 40 degrees, which is gonna make for a chilly day, that's fine. I'll be going to Carter Caves today. My goal is to show bank access fishing points like my last video for Greenbow did. But also I wanna show some creeks you, you could take your kids or grandkids to play in and also driving directions on getting to Carter Caves if you've never been there. It's actually very easy. From Ashland, you take 64 east uh, to exit 161, and once I get there, I will show some more of the driving into Carter Caves State Park. This is your exit, exit 161. You'll be turning right at the bottom of the exit. see a sign right here it says Carter Cave State Resort Park so at the stop sign you'll turn right heading away from Olive Hill you'll come around this little corner and you'll see a brown sign that says Carter Cave State Park you're going to turn left on 182 and you see the sign right there Carter Cave State Park You'll come to this stop sign and you'll continue going left. This is for you bank fishermen. As you come down the hill, at the bottom of the hill, you'll find a bridge that crosses Tigert's Creek. And there are places to park, so if you wanted to fish or have wanted to fish Tigert's Creek before, just know that there is an opportunity heading toward Carter Caves. That you can fish. Um, and like I said, there's areas to park. You can park here and go down to fish the creek. You can see that right there. And you can also park on the other side of the creek. That's the creek itself. Uh, there's a spot right here that you can park like I said I don't know exactly what's there how deep it is or anything but that's it and right past that is the turn to Carter Cave State Park I you wanted to film this just for folks who might want to look for a place to bring their kids or their grandkids where they can have a good time playing in the creek there are several points as you come into the park that allow you access to the creek and several even have picnic tables where you could sit and watch the kids while they played. This is one area you can see, uh, it's, it's a beautiful spot. There's two picnic tables here. This is, I believe, the very first spot coming in. But you can see the creek is beautiful. And if you have little ones, grandchildren or children, what a better place could there be than to come out here and give them an opportunity to get wet, get dirty, look for crawdads, minnows, salamanders, newts, frogs. There are all kinds of things for them to do that would just be very inexpensive, but very convenient. Pack a picnic lunch, come out here for a few hours and let the kids play in the creek. So I just wanted to give you an idea of the creek access that is here. And there are several spots along the road as you come into Carter Caves where you could actually uh, park, have a picnic lunch, and let the kids play in the, in the creek. Here's another parking area. No picnic tables, but again, look how close the creek is. Now here's another nice area up here. And again, two picnic tables trash cans and right there is the creek so if you want to really spend an inexpensive day at Carter Caves and you want your kids or grandkids to have a chance to be outdoors what better place could there be than to come here and enjoy this natural beauty this is the welcome center I'm gonna turn in here for a minute this is just a beautiful state park uh, there's plenty of places to go and hike and enjoy yourself so I know I mainly focus on fishing 
but I just wanted to show this for those folks who have young ones at home and are looking for an inexpensive way to spend a day in the outdoors and there's nothing more beautiful than this state park the other this is the other picnic area I spoke of um, you can see this is basically down behind the welcome center and it's really pretty down here there uh, is a, a lot of creek here for the kids to play in you've got a couple of bridges which they would love um, and you can see you know here, here's the creek right here I mean what what kid wouldn't want to get in that and lift a rock and find a crawdad or a salamander or a newt or even a hellbender I found him here before but this is the other picnic area so there's lots of places to come doesn't cost you a thing to do except for a little bit of gas and some time so I hope that helps uh, just kind of seeing the things that are here and there is a road you can drive down to see all this all right coming out of the welcome center that's a side stop you'll be coming up this hill you're gonna turn left at this Y heading toward the public pool, the restaurant, and lake access. You'll head up this hill. It's a very windy road, but a beautiful drive. I mean, even on a 41 degree day, uh, the drive up here is just wonderful. And that's one other thing you could do. If you wanted to just come to Carter Caves and, and drive the park, um, it, it is a beautiful drive and a wonderful state park. Up of the hill, you're going to see a sign that says Miniature Golf Public Pool. You want to turn right toward the public pool and that will take you to Smoky Valley Lake. So you'll loop a big right there are places alongside of the road here if you wanted to park and have a picnic lunch. There's parking, there's picnic tables, grills, there's even miniature golf if you want to play miniature golf. There's just so much to do here. That's actually the campground uh, over that way. It's a beautiful campground. I grew up camping here. Here in Greenbow are my two main places to be. And to this day, uh, I love these parks. And you following this road around and you will see toward the bottom of this hill, the swimming pool and the turn to go to the lake will be on your right. There's the swimming pool on the left and the turn to go down to the lake is on your right. Now we're going to go past the turnoff for the lake, and this is for the bank fishermen. Um, I've never hiked to where I'm going to show you on the lake in a little while in the video, but this is the area where you can access the trail that will then take you down to the old swimming area where you do have access to fish from the bank. And that is honestly really about the only place. So you saw me come down to a parking lot. It's at, it, this is behind the community pool. There's a set of stairs that heads down into the woods. I've never hiked this trail that this would take you down to the old beach area that would allow you to uh, fish Smoky Valley Lake. So you can see I've come not very far just right there's the stairs there's my truck and there is a split and you have uh, concrete going down toward the lake so this would be the way to go to the old swimming area which really isn't bad at all it's it's concrete uh sidewalk and then looks like concrete stairs 
you also have over here access to three bridges trail it's a, a three and a half mile loop that that will also give you access to the dam so this is for bank fishermen there is access to the lake you can actually walk over here you can actually see the lake down there looking nice and green and like i said this uh sidewalk will take you down to the the old swimming area which i will show you here in a little bit for my kayak lake and to the right is the goat path basically that goes down to the lake one lane and it's tight just uh to see the regulations here it is a daylight only lake there is a slot limit of 12 to 15 inches. So you can actually keep smaller bass if you want to do that. I'm not fond of eating bass, but if you want to, you could keep the smaller bass, but you must release anything between 12 and 15 inches and trolling motor only lake. So it is very kayak friendly. There is limited parking, as you can see. Um, there are three spots that are paved and then you have gravel parking over the side. So there is room to park um, Didn't expect a big crowd today. I thought with the weather being cold uh, Wouldn't have any issues, but there's been several people come down here today. I'll walk you out here to the lake um, Trying my new GoPro chest mount which I've never used But this is the uh, of course the ramp into the lake and if you're thinking about trying to fish here, you can you probably can't see, but it is very shallow. This whole area through here is two foot, maybe three foot at the most. Out toward the middle, it actually gets shallower down to about a foot. So this whole area through here is very shallow and uh, I've caught very little fish here. The creek channel is over there and that does get to be four or five foot deep but of course you can't reach that from the bank see that uh this is a very primitive type place to uh bring a boat or uh even to try to fish it's steep sided on both sides and um really there's only three three points of access for bank fishing this is the boat ramp area. Uh, you can see it's limited bank access. I'm literally in 2.4 feet of water right here. Um, if you wanted to fish here, and again, fishing here is very limited, but off to the side over here, that little area right there would be probably five or six foot deep. Um, so down this way, if you look down that way, that is at the tops, two and a half, three foot deep. It gets shallower actually the farther out you go. So if you're gonna fish that away, fish closer to the bank. Over here, if you wanna fish off the ramp area, um, you wanna to fish to this side as far as you can go. And like I said, there there is five, six, seven foot of water over here. So that would be one area of, of bank access you would have at the ramp. The rest of it honestly is very shallow. It's very mucky and muddy, so not a whole lot you want to do here. Folks, for the kayak, this is straight across from the ramp. Right now I'm in four foot of water. Um, so the closer to this other bank you get, the deeper the water is because there is a creek channel. Um, there's a creek that comes in right up here. It's very shallow through there, but um, that's where the channel is and you will find some areas over through here that are four to five foot maybe six foot deep um, right now I'm in four foot of water so just know that the ramp area for the most part is very shallow almost directly across from the boat ramp actually a little bit farther down and I'm in six foot of water if that gives you any kind of idea of what you're looking at here um, you want to go toward the dam obviously to find the deeper water but around the boat boat ramp area it's pretty shallow Let's notice something and this is for the bank fishermen um there's a access road over here 
and off of that road there is a trail that is running all along through there which will take you down to the uh, old swimming area which you could bank fish so that is another uh, trail access that I've never noticed before but you can see well you may not be able to see it but let me, uh, trust me there is a trail that is heading down to the uh, main or the the old swimming area as I was saying this area right off the ramp you can see right there's the boat ramp and I'm sitting here in six foot of water so this this area would provide you with a little bit of fishing opportunity um, because like I said on the other side of the ramp it's two two foot three foot at the max um, very shallow and this will at least I don't know, like I said, I'm still sitting here in well almost six foot of water it's 5.9 feet so there is some depth here um, I'm throwing a chatterbait right now just trying to see what might be biting nothing so far so just to give you some idea of the depth of the water here it's 5.7 feet so all that obviously is very castable I'm going on down that bank and I'm still sitting here in six six and a half foot of water so again not super deep but if you had a kayak or a small boat just to give you an idea of the depth as you leave the ramp um, the side opposite the ramp is about six foot and the side heading toward the public swimming area is also six foot you'll see this big rock in front of me this is about 10 foot of water here so it's getting deeper and deeper as we go switched up lures here let's see what happens I've got a little jig on now you bank fishermen this would be the beginning of the old swimming area and you can see there's a wall right there and an area you could actually stand to cast and i'm in 12 foot of water so if you're looking for opportunities this would be a good one this again is the old swimming area where you have access either from the the uh, parking lot area i showed you before or this walking trail that's right up here and um, as I come up to the wall, I'm at 11 foot of water. So just know that there is some deeper water here to fish as opposed to the boat ramp area. There's the wall. There's an old, I guess, shelter house or maybe uh, that was probably where they rented floats and things like that. And I'm still in 11 foot of water and I'm right off the wall there so this would be a good spot to come if you wanted to try and catfish or just any kind of fish i am seeing some fish on my uh, fish finder don't know what they are but uh, there's bass crappie and channel cats and bluegill here that i know of but you can tell again this is all paved it's a sidewalk uh, getting to it is a challenge but once you're here you do have access to fishing off the bank right where the stairs come down before or yeah before the uh i'm guessing a concession stand i'm in eight and a half foot of water right here just trying to give you some ideas it's getting shallower it actually does get shallower in through here i'm, I'm now in six foot of water um and now five foot of water so this area where the there's a chain link fence and the stairs and things is actually just four or five foot deep it's kind of shallow in here I'm coming up on the I guess the main swimming area well old swimming area there's rusted wrought iron but it is all concrete and so there is basically good access to fish um, you can see right over here is the beginning of this area and I'm only in four foot of water so this is still continuing to be pretty shallow um i'll just i'll kind of stay with you here going on across here um coming around with this uh again the swimming area you're looking at six foot of water there is a little bit of a drop off right here so if you come down to the middle part of that old concrete area now there's a drop off and i'm in 13 foot of water so it's shallow a little shallower up toward that concrete pad but right now 
I'm in 14 foot of water and that's definitely castable from uh, from that concrete dock area or concrete I guess platform still in 14 foot of water um, there's an old lifeguard chair you can probably see it right there and straight off of that lifeguard chair it is 12 foot of water so you've got a little dip now it's going to be a bit shallower it's up to 11 up to 9 so that area back there is actually like a little um, bowl and now I'm in 6 foot of water so coming off the corner of, the, of that concrete area it's uh, back to six foot of water. So the middle part of that concrete area would probably be a good spot to fish as it gets up to 14 foot deep. This is the main dam. Well, this is the dam, I guess. And you can see that would definitely offer you bank fishing access. Um, to get to it, uh, you're gonna have to hike. I, I know some people just walked across a few minutes ago, so there is foot access to the dam i just don't know how big of a hike it's going to be um but if you're adventurous and you want to try some new areas out uh that whole area of course it's clear um it's fairly deep all around i'm i'm sitting here in 27 foot of water uh, trying to jig up a mark but it's not having much luck at all right now it's been a very slow day in the words of uh, Austin Powers, it's frickin' freezing, Mr. Bigglesworth. So, but um, I did want to show you what the dam looks like. It's a fairly large area. But anyway, I just want to let you know what it looks like. Access, there are, there is a trail over there. It looks like those folks are actually walking up that trail. So it makes a big loop, apparently. And there must be a bridge over there because they've crossed the spillway. So I hope that helps if you're looking for areas to bank fish here at Smoky Valley Lake. They are limited. The banks are very steep and there's lots of trees and things growing over the sides. So really you have three options. You've got the dam, which is a hike. So you have to be adventurous to get here. You've got the boat ramp, which is very limited because of depth or lack of depth. And then probably the best place to bank fish would be the old swimming area, which is a concrete pad that actually has fencing and wrought iron around a lot of it. And there are some deep spots there. I don't know if you can see those folks hiking up there, but that's how far up the trail is. It must run in a big loop around the lake. It's not a very big lake, but if you're walking, it would be a ways. And if you had to carry your equipment, You'd want to pack light and make sure you had only the necessities. Give you an idea of the depth off the dam. I'm in 18 foot of water, definitely within a castable range of the dam. Uh, I'm probably right about the middle. It gets a little deeper, uh, but uh, 17, 18, 20 foot of water. And the farther you go out, of course, the deeper it's going to be. Well, I actually just had a bite, but he got off. It has been a rough day with the wind and the weather. It is cold. Just not been a day for a lot of catching. Well, another little bit of a bump here. Let's see what happens. been a skunky kind of day. I haven't really fished that hard though, honestly. Threw a few jigs, um, tried to chatterbait for a little bit. Uh, a couple of plastics, but you know, would like to get the skunk off. So it's been a busy day here. Three more cars and people walking around and having a long time.
guess everybody's got cabin fever. All right. Yep. We'll wrap this thing up. It's actually probably a pretty shot there with the sun on the water. It's been a interesting day. Nary a fish though, but that's all right. So this is the boat ramp area. Um, it's, you know, it's pretty rough. Fine for kayaks. Uh, small boats would be okay. You can see that this part of the lake is very shallow. Well, I don't know if you can see it or not, but when you get here, you can see it. Um, I mean, it's it's literally two foot or less all the way down through there. There might be a couple three or four foot spots, but for the most part, that whole area out there is two foot or less. Uh, this, again, shallow. This little bank right down through here, um, you can cast there and it's seven, six, seven, eight foot deep down that away. This is that access road that I was talking about that, that leads to a trail that will take you down to the um, old swimming area where you could bank fish down there. Okay, I am gonna try and give you a feel for what it's like to drive up this road because it is interesting to say the least so i'm going to take you up the road that brings you down to smoky valley lake boat ramp hang on it feels like a roller coaster This is not for the faint of heart. There is a lot going on here, but it is paved, I guess. <laughs> There's a couple here and there. But you meet somebody coming up or down this thing and someone's gonna have to give. And there is the exit. We made it. It has been a day, that's all I can say. My fishing got messed up actually by the uh, the tire thing, so I'm not even gonna show anything. And basically, all I did was cast all day, well, for a few hours. Um, all I did was cast. I didn't catch anything. I had two hits, but just nibbles, nothing much. I mean, something bumped it, and that was about it. So just know that Carter Caves is beautiful. I'll do another um, fishing video from here when the weather warms up. When you go from 70 degrees down to, what's it now, 42 degrees for a high, it's gonna mess the fish up a bit, but they'll, they'll be crappie moving soon. Uh, I've always caught bass, crappie, and bluegill here, and I hope to catch some the next time I'm here. But I enjoyed doing this video, I hope it, uh, We'll give you some ideas on where you can go and what you can do close to Ashland. And all I can say is get out there, guys. Um, it's beautiful. Cold, warm, rain, snow, I don't care. It's better than sitting at the house. Um, if you have little ones, Carter Caves is a great place to bring them for them to play. There's so much for them to do with the creeks, the playgrounds, hiking trails. Just... Uh, Spend some family time together and get out of your house and get outdoors.